Did I ever tell you guys that one of my favorite movies is Jaws? Just that theme, dun dun. Oh my God, it's like Jaws, but with a coffee grinder coming up on me. That was a weird one, guys. It was weird, but I like it. It's the Seta 270WI by Barazza. This is a really cool grinder from everything that I've heard, and we're gonna unbox it today. Now I did an unboxing of another Barazza Seta model, it was the Seta 30, and that one was pretty impressive. Uh, I haven't had my hands on the Seta 270WI just yet until literally right now, so my unboxing is going to be my first experience with it hands-on, but I have seen some information about it, and it sounds like a really, really excellent grinder. This is a little more on the pro side, uh, potentially, but for those of you who are really, really specific about your coffee grind, this is probably going to be a good bet. So let's just take a look at it. Box first, of course. Real simple, there's really nothing else to see <laughs> on this packaging except the pretty picture of the setup. And let's get into it and see what we've got. Yeah, always packaged nice. Barazza does excellent packaging. I did mention that this was the first coffee grinder of this type that I've seen except for the very large commercial grinders that uses its own IEC cable. So this thing is, you know it's serious when it uses a cable like that. The lid for our bean hopper. Here's our hopper itself, along with, I remember this from the other set, so this is a little just sort of placemat that sits below it. Oh, hey, this is a little different from the previous set. To, so I remember on the previous one, I believe that this handle was plastic, whereas now it's metal. And this is cool because this on the bean hopper allows you to close the bean hopper so you can remove it from the grinder really easily. There is a cleaning brush. And I should also mention there's some other tools that come with it. And then this is our grounds container. I could wear it as a hat. I'm not going to do that. I think Barazza might get a little annoyed at me if I start wearing things as a hat. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Look at the magic of TV. Though. The box just floated away from me again. Yeah, this thing is serious, y'all. I mean, it's got some real heft to it, but it doesn't seem to have a whole lot of necessarily bells and whistles. Uh, but there is some really cool stuff about the Seta that I have come across, which is that uh, as opposed to a lot of other grinders that we've talked about, where you're simply grinding for a certain grind level, a certain grind size and microns, things along those lines, the Seta actually is going to grind by weight. So this is like super cool. And I was, I was watching some videos and stuff on this and I was like, oh yeah, this is a big deal. Because probably one of the biggest things that we all run into, and we've talked about this before, is that one of the biggest wastes of coffee is just simply coffee, grinding it, uh, leftover coffee, you know, brewing too much, things along those lines. And when you're grinding your coffee, if you grind too much or if you're trying to find the right grind level, you're going to waste a lot of coffee. Um, whereas if you're grinding for weight and you know that you have a specific weight that you're grinding for, maybe for your espresso machine, something like that, 20 grams, however many grams, you can set the Seta, aha, uh -huh, there's where the name comes from, maybe, I don't know, I'm just saying. Uh, you can set to a certain weight and grind for that. So I think this is going to lead to a lot less waste, which is cool. I'm, I'm into, uh, you know, be a little more green about your coffee, of course. So let's just kind of look at the units a little bit. We can place our bean hopper. I feel like I kind of got that wrong. You should be able to do this better, Brian. All right, yeah, that seems a little better, right? Uh, our actual container for catching grounds. No. You gotta read the manual sometimes, guys. You just, you do. You just do. Uh huh. See, this is why we do unboxings, because you get to know how things work in real time. Because you know how it is. 
Guys don't like to read instructions. I know, we really should, but we, you know, we don't like to stop and ask for directions and... But it's okay, we gotta read them sometimes. Now, uh, I'm just gonna mention this real quickly. The cool thing here is that you can grind into a multitude of different devices, essentially, by using these adjustment arms. They've got this solid rubber right here, and you'll notice when I was kind of fussing about there a little bit that I just could not get the grounds container to fit in. But what you gotta do is press down or rather in a little bit and then turn away on that arm. You can see this, it's a little easier if you kind of use both hands. And you can adjust this wider and then that allows you to place this grounds container, or maybe another container, or maybe your actual uh, espresso brewing um, basket or something along those lines. And if only I had an actual espresso brew basket. Oh, look at that, look, look. It's almost as if I use the force. Thank you. Thank you, Igor. See, he's always taking care of me. So, as I was talking about, cool thing here is that you can grind directly into your brew basket. Obviously, this would not fit because it would just fall out. So you can adjust and find the right setting, and then you can place it right there. Right? Hold on. can first convert the arms to portafilter mode and swing the hook to the front. This, this is cool. It's always funny, like sometimes I feel with things like this, like I'm not supposed to touch it or like adjust it. I feel like, you know, the, the, the maker of, of whatever device it is that I'm playing with knows better than me. And so I shouldn't mess with things, but, but it would make sense to move these arms around a little bit. And I have also been playing around a little. You can move this arm up right here as well by using a little hex wrench. And this is where the magic happens. This is the scale that's built in, which is a K, Akaya, Akaya, Akaya. Akaya technology is used for the built-in scale. Uh, so when we actually do the full-on operation of the SETA, that's something I'd be really interested to see. Let's, let's plug the thing in. It's not an unboxing if I don't at least just like plug it in, right? So let's plug it in and see what we think. All right. Oh, it's coming to life. Hooray. All right, so it's got a pretty basic backlit screen on it. And from what I have also put together here, we've got presets for being able to select a preset grind weight, and then you can adjust that weight up or down. So there's these different grind weights right here. 18, 25, and 35, and then I can adjust up or down. And it's beepy. Buttons are nice and clicky. You can feel that little click behind the button. That's pretty good. Uh, and then you've got a stop button and a play button, basically. Play, which is go. But it looks like play. I'm a musician. I'm sorry, guys. It looks like a play button. It's play and pause. Anyway, you're going to use that to be able to grind with the device. I'm just gonna talk about what I think is cool real quick. First of all, I really like the bean hopper. I like the fact that you can shut it off and then easily remove it because that's gonna make it a lot easier to clean. And then as we move down, something that is very cool about this device is that your burrs and the entire grind mechanism just goes straight down. So it's not gonna get clogged. Everything just goes right down thanks to gravity. Everything goes down and you can remove those burrs. And I'm, I, I will talk about all this when we actually do the full on operation. I'll show you real quickly what the idea is here. But moving down, just talk about cool stuff. The fact that you're grinding by weight, I think is a really big deal. Being able to do those adjustments in grams, like I say, I think it's gonna to lead to a lot less waste. If you are running a small coffee shop or something along those lines, I would say that this is definitely gonna make it a lot easier to be able to do all those different espresso pulls that you gotta do. Not really gonna be for French press, but that's okay. That's This is for the espresso lover for sure, because it also has these really, really uh, pretty impressive, I think, grind uh, settings that you can make use of where you've got a stepped ring right here for being able to go between coarse to fine. But then on the bottom there, you also have 
an additional non-stepped ring, this one right here, and this is pretty, this is all very unique. This is something I think is really cool. I haven't really seen anything like this. Uh, and this non-stepped ring allows you to get even more fine or coarse with your grind. And then moving down, this is cool. I was able to just really easily remove the burrs and you can see right there, it's just a straight, straight shot down. So this makes it really easy to clean the device and be able to get back to grinding. And because it's essentially just powered by gravity, you know, you're not going to get a whole bunch of clogging. And it was really easy for me to make that, that change right there. And it's definitely important to mention again that this is a grinder for espresso, AeroPress, Chemex, pour over. It's not really a French press coffee grinder. So you might say, well, Brian, you guys are FrenchPressCoffee.com, so what? Well, because we love talking about coffee gadgets, obviously, and we know that there's folks that don't just drink French press coffee out there, but if you're looking to grind for French press coffee, check out a lot of the other grinders. You'll probably even see some suggestions maybe somewhere around me here that we've talked about, such as the Barazza uh, Encore, the Virtuoso Plus, the Virtuoso line, and etc. Those are really good for French press grind. This is great for espresso and that really fine grind. I'm looking forward to playing around with it for sure. We're gonna do um, some full on operation of it so you can check that out. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for our video. This is just gonna you know, give you obviously an unboxing and show you what is in there. Make sure to tune in to our usage video and we'll show you how to use the Barazza Seta 270WI. Now, if you have questions or if there's anything that you're really looking to find out about the device, hit us up in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, say hello, visit us at frenchpresscoffee.com. And as always guys, thanks for tuning in to frenchpresscoffee.com. I'll see you next time and take care. So did you like that video? If so, go ahead and give us a like maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a great copy quote. Come on, subscribe. All right, awesome, thank you so much. And now for the coffee quote. Remember that coffee is like a hug in a mug.